Welcome. This is the detail. Uh, story driven game. I've heard a lot of good things about it. This is an episodic game. First episode that came out a while ago. Uh, there are now a total of three episodes. As with uh, early access games, with episodic games, my personal um, my personal take on them is that I have no problem with episodic games. I just don't buy them until every single episode is out. I don't want to play it until um, the full experience is out. As with early access, I don't want to play them when they're still on beta or whatever. I want to play the game when it's finished. It's cool. I have no problem with um, with developers putting out episodic games, and I have no people probably with playing the episodes as they come out and then waiting however many months for the next episode to come out. That's just not how I want to play it. Anyway, nothing about my ramblings. Uh, oh. Change this. Eh, I don't think it really matters, but whatever. Let's just jump right on it. Episode one. Where the dead lie. Just another murder investigation. Sounds strange, but to me, that's all they are now. Just another murder investigation until someone you know gets killed. That's when things get personal, when they hit home. That's when you start asking if you could have done something different, chosen different. And you'll keep on asking. Play on all those scenarios in your head only to find that you could have gone down another path, but you probably wouldn't have. Not because of fate or anything, but because you are who you are, and that never changes. Scene, or do I get to choose where I'm going by clicking on one of these signs? Oh, it's telling me to click to turn the page. Gotcha. Northside, Wilmington, Clinton Boulevard, Financial District, Franklin Center, Chinatown, City Hall, Central Avenue, Greenville. Two out of seven, the dispatch. 1097 arrived at the scene. Two out of seven, roger that. 1059 proceed with the security check. The presentation is definitely nice and slick. I'm liking that. Let's go. Yes, sir. Makes it look like a comic book. I like that kind of style. Remember, Kate. We're only here to check out a known child molester. Ah! Uh oh, things turned blood red. Arrow to kick in door. Press and hold. A lot. Oh. Okay. Well. Now he'll know we're coming. Keep your eyes open. I guess I took too long to try to pick the lock. So these decisions are time based. I see. Got 
eyes on the girl. No sign of the suspect. Playing around here? 
the hell? Reggie! You can't do this to me. I'll, I'll sue your ass. Do I look like I'd give a fuck? Reggie, what are you doing? I'm not gonna go that far. This is the part where you get hurt. Bad. Stop it, Reggie. This is the way to go. Alright, I'm gonna let him play the good cop now. And you're right. Christ, man. Alright, let's let the fucking guy slime ball lawyer show. Guess we just wait for the scumbag lawyer then. sentence in exchange for plea bargain. Pedophile sentence reduced dramatically by cooperation. Hey man, I tried to beat the um, truth out of the guy. Well, I physically beat him. I was willing to go so far as to, you know, shake him up a little. I was going to slam his head into the table. Maybe that was the way to go. I am curious to see how much um, the different um, choices I make actually affect the gameplay. Like, would this have been a completely... How, how many different narrative paths are there? I've been making sure to avoid all any story um, discussion of the game, so... I have no clue. Right, what's this hand I Turn the page. Get some hangs. That gets out. I'm guessing that puts away the paper. This is my arrow. Right. 
I'll check out the body in the meantime. So on this one, right? Right. Right. Detective Moore. So my name is Reggie Moore. Okay. Reggie, you at the scene yet? Yeah, I just got here. How bad is it? It's a goddamn mess, Kirk. Looks like word got out already. The locals are swarming the place. Of course, the press is here. Ready to smear it all over the front page. Are those the cops from the beginning cutscene? The woman and the gentleman there? That were at the scene where they caught the, um, the perp? Damn! This thing, this department needs another PR nightmare. Not now. Oh shit. I guess I'd better get on with the job then. Not like I had any other plans anyway. Wampum. Reggie, listen. We need to collar someone fast. Got a lot of heat coming from the deputy chief. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. But get on. Look, I'm still gonna do my due diligence. I don't wanna put it. Just nab someone who might not be the, um, the true uh, perpetrator. So. Is that a news reporter? Sure looks like it. Uh, your robberies. Uh, police officers. Ambulance. Oh, cool. I set the uh, hot spots to the mouse over. I didn't want the um, press. Nadia. I could have set them so they were always visible, all of them. That's cool. Cars driving by there. All right, let's talk to the officers first. You need to serve and protect. I wonder, does somebody still believe in that? Because I should have Okay, I'm gonna get to look at him. Let's check out the ambulance. Where's the crime scene? Look, I wanna to talk to the, I'll, I'll talk to her eventually, but I should look at the crime scene first. The paramedics seem to be here. The body's probably on the other side of the ambulance. Stop. Satan has you. It's Tyrone. Charming. Mike used to be a crime tech, but then the city made budget cuts. Now serves as an overburdened coroner investigator. Has been dealing with this shit even longer than me. stuff. 
Like, there are a lot of police games that are basically just shooters, where you're shooting it out. And I don't mind that being a part, a small part of the um, game, but I like games where you're doing, like, the day-to-day -day duties of the cop, having to investigate and do all that stuff. Um, like the old Police Quest games from Sierra way back in the day. I freaking love those. It's the gun. This blood splatter right on it. So this was fired at close range. Like the... That's a lot of gore. Yep, the barrel's covered in brain tissue. Almost as if the gun was like right up against the back of the head when it was fired. So you know what? Maybe it wasn't a maybe it was a suicide. I mean, just trying to just, you could point the gun to the back of the head yourself. If you were to shoot yourself in the back of the head, you'd pretty much have to have the gun like right up against you. And this guy does have gunshot residue on his hands and stuff, so he fired a gun himself. If it isn't. about the fingerprints? Any identification yet? Prelimin preliminary resu results show only the prints from the victim. So again, it could have been a suicide. Or at least someone wanted to really make it look like a suicide. Serial number. Scratched off. Yeah, I don't think this gun's in the registry. Shoe prints. 
is the number on the... Aren't we under an overpass? Why would the rain have washed them out for under an overpass?
possible to talk to him. So if I can talk to him at all. Understanding there's something else here. Many rounds are missing from the magazine. Two rounds. It matches what's on the ground. Same as the number of shells found there. The magazine is missing two rounds. It matches the number of bullet wounds on the body and the shell casings on the ground. something. Picture of a girl. She looks like she's barely out of grade school. Jesus Christ. It's a sick world. Let me bag that for you. That's it. I talked to Tyler on that old game save, all right? Just there's still stuff for me to do here. So back to the crime scene. Anywhere else? That's it. Oh, steam pipe. On well, the city steam vents. Reminds me there's always something boiling away beneath the streets. Okay, but it doesn't. That's just some flavor text.
sein. switch from look to talk. Okay. So I didn't need to talk to me. I got the preliminary here, Reg. You want to look around some more? Or start figuring things out. Let's do this. I think I've looked at everything. Look at our pals that Blue managed to piece together. Based on this, we're looking at a deal gone bad. Yeah, but then why are the drugs still here? Yeah, how do they figure? Well, let's lay it out step by step. Right, so, Arcane comes over here to do some kind of deal. A little after our hour's business, as it were. Sure looks like it. Uniforms have it as a meet between Arcane and another boss. And probably a couple of gang members as well. Could be. Hard to tell which footprints are fresh, though. Rain's made a mess of things. Could have been just two guys, for all we know. I suppose. Anyway, though. Looks like things went sour in one way or another. Shot in the back of the head. Okay, he ended up with a bullet through his skull. Yeah, but I only saw two shells by the body. And if I had to guess, they were both from his gun. Shots is pretty restrained for a bunch of hood stuff, especially if Arcane got off the first round. And he can't have been here by himself, right? And if he's a boss, he would have had an entourage with him. Since we don't have any more bodies here, I figured he must have run off after Arcane got killed. The uniforms think he was overpowered by multiple perps. Shot in the back of the head. Well, one guy could pull that out, but he was real good. Maybe this was like some kind of vigilante. And somehow he figured out there was going to be a deal here. And so he got there here, or maybe he lured Arcane here with a pretend deal or something. And then killed him, and that's why the drugs were left, because the guy wasn't have no intention of taking drugs. He's just here to kill the uh, mobster, a drug dealer. Been watching Death Wish again, Reggie. He'll knock the classics tie. Anyway, if Arcane was alone, he pulls his piece and squeezes off around. But this guy's already going for his wrist. Follows it up with a solid blow for Arcane's elbow joint measure. Right, and then the kneecap is the finisher. Nobody fights back with one of those busted. I don't care who you are. That's true, man. So that's when he takes the gun, plants it against the back of Arcane's head, and boom, out goes the weasel. Yeah, some shit like that in the army. These beat cops don't have your imagination, Reg. See the bandage tie? It's my license to have an imagination. But if bangers downed Arcane, why did they leave the case with the goods behind? Good question. I figure Arcane managed to get a shot at their boss. The guy's bleeding out in the mud during the fight. And the bangers panic and haul him off to be patched up. Who has the imagination now? But yeah, I can see that. No, I'm not buying that. I still think if this was a deal, they would have left the briefcase. I I'm thinking this was a vigilante. No way to tell if there was anyone bleeding out here, though. Yeah, with all the oil and shit in the ground, there's no amount of luminol that will solve this one. The pro would have been would have just left the case behind, of course. Dump the gun, yeah. I want to be dragging evidence around. 
Yes, it could have been a hitman or a vigilante. I, my, my money's out of vigilante. That's, that's what my brain is telling me. Canyon drugs, though. The North Side 13 run most of that shit around here. Maybe the Kuchkas were expanding a bit. Someone didn't like it. They sent a special message. You may be right. Where do you want to go with that? I think this was a solo job. And say, yeah. I think this was a solo job. I kind of like the Bronson option here, Ty. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction, right? Yeah. Well, the Bronson option does fit. That was she was a vigilante, and that's what I, that's what my gut is telling me. Right. We're not going to figure this out standing here in the rain, though. Look, I know a guy who used to run with Arcane's group back in the day. He was always solid for intel, but he's been out of the game for a while now. Is this by any chance the same informant that Nadia mentioned? Huh? What did she say? Don't, don't tell me she, uh, she was actually onto something. She didn't say much really, just asked about some deal you made. It's nothing. I don't want to get into her right now. Fine. But who is this guy anyway? Joe was a middleweight move, mover making deals all over. We've been trying to bust the guy out a couple of times. He always gave me the slip. So how'd you get him to turn rap? He wanted out, so he cut a deal to take down his former comrades, wipe clean his death to society sort of thing. Why? Why did he want to auto out all of a sudden? He found out the American, he found the American dream, the white kid, an anonymous job. I'll give this guy a call. Might still have contacts. Hey Joe, it's been a while. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I know what I promise, but I need your help. You know, I'm gonna let him. Joe, listen to me. My cane is dead. What do you mean? Look, this is not an option. Joe, do I need to remind you of our deal? What are you gonna say next? Pretty please? Just give me the fucking phone already. Look, this shit, I'm having a bad day already, and you're up, and you're really starting to push it. Who the hell is this? Your new best friend. The one you're going to please with everything you got. Or else? How's the missus? Is the spark still there? Or should I come over there and ask that myself? Just tell me what you want, okay? Really out. Yeah, I've been working clean for a long time. I'm working a steady nine to five right now. Well, ain't you a real boy scout? Someone blew Arcane's brains out. No surprise there. Nope, that motherfucker finally got what he deserved. Too bad his fellow comrades are going to ape, are going ape shit here. Forget it, I can't help you. And then there's that reporter here too, Nadia Roberts. She's asking about a deal you made with my partner Tyrone. What? How does she know about that? Don't know. You get me something and I'll deal with the report. Deal? I'll need an hour. Fine. Meet me by the old market by the docks. All good? Good enough. You ready to hit the brick stack? Yeah, I think I've done everything I can do here. Yeah, let's roll. Or game safe. Alright, gonna leave off here and we'll pick up with this meeting next time.